Mars is not just a place that we see anymore, it's a place we can hear. From ghostly winds and eerie Mars quakes to a mini tornado smacking into a robot, these are unsettling real sounds recorded on Mars. Not long after it landed in February of 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover turned on its microphone and captured something pretty haunting, Martian wind. The rover was parked in a crater called Jezero, and for the first time in history, we could actually hear what wind sounds like on another planet. And that's just cool. Having visuals of Mars along with sound now just makes it a lot more immersive, like we're getting closer and closer to it. It also sounds kind of eerie because it's not like the wind you'd hear on Earth. Because Mars has a super thin atmosphere, about 1% the density of ours, the wind there doesn't howl or whistle. Instead, it produces this low, ghostly rumble. The thin air can't carry sound very well, so everything comes across quieter and more muffled. These first wind recordings really got to show just how alien Mars really is. Scientists use this audio not just to give us a sense of atmosphere, literally, but to study how sound moves through the Martian air. It was also an important test of the microphone itself, proving it could survive the landing and handle Mars's tough conditions. Back in 2019, something happened on Mars that had never been captured before, the sound of a Mars quake. It was picked up by NASA's InSight lander, which was designed specifically to listen for this kind of seismic activity. On April 6, 2019, InSight recorded vibrations from beneath the surface of the red planet. Take a listen, this is some pretty spooky audio. Yeah, yikes, that just sounds haunting, doesn't it? Such a lonely, eerie noise, it's kind of ghostly. And the fact that it's way out in space, so far from the creature comforts of home, it just, I don't know, it adds to it. So Mars isn't like Earth when it comes to seismic activity. There are no tectonic plates shifting around. Instead, these quakes happen when the crust contracts or cracks from the planet cooling over time. The sounds of these Mars quakes were made audible thanks to InSight's highly sensitive seismometer called SEIS, which is short for Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure. The recording contains three types of sounds, the Martian wind blowing across the land the actual Mars quake, and some mechanical noise from InSight's robotic arm as it moves to take some pictures. Here's a bit of that audio, because that sounds really weird. Each sound came from different sensors, one set designed to pick up deep, low frequency vibrations, another tuned to higher frequencies. These were originally outside the range of human hearing, so the audio had to be sped up 60 times the normal rate just so we could actually hear it. The quake InSight picked up that day was small, but it was clear, and more importantly, it was the first one scientists could confidently say came from inside Mars. It also helped confirm that Mars is still geologically active, at least a little bit. Since then, InSight has recorded hundreds more, but this one is still the cleanest. On September 27th, 2021, Perseverance caught something even more intense, a dust devil passing directly over it. Take a listen to this. Now, what exactly is a dust devil? Because it sounds really ominous. Well, dust devils are small tornado-like whirlwinds, and this one gave the rover a full blast. As the mini tornado moved overhead, Perseverance's microphone picked up the rapid fire patter of dust particles slamming into it. It sounded like a fast rattling burst, like sand hitting a metal surface in a storm. The event lasted only about 10 seconds, but it gave scientists a rare up close listen to Martian weather in action. You can clearly hear the wind pick up, the impacts of flying grit, and then a quick fade as the dust devils spins away. Now it may not sound like it, but this kind of audio wouldn't be possible on Earth the same way. The recording helped them learn about the structure of these dust devils, how wide they are, how fast they spin, and how powerful they can be. Out on the cold, quiet surface of Mars, NASA's InSight lander heard something weird, a series of little popping and pinging sounds, what scientists started calling dinks and donks. 
These weren't earthquakes or weather, they were noises coming from inside the lander itself, picked up by the incredibly sensitive seismometer it brought to Mars. The SEIS instrument was designed to detect the faintest ground movements, from Mars quakes to meteorite impacts, but it ended up picking up something else entirely. Late at night, when the Martian winds died down and everything went still, it would record tiny creaks, pops, and pings, odd little sounds that repeated regularly. Take a listen. Turns out these noises were being caused by parts inside the seismometer slightly expanding and contracting as the temperature dropped. See, on Mars, the temperature swing from day to night is massive, up to 76 degrees Celsius. So metal parts flex and shift and rub against each other. That friction is what causes those dinks and donks. NASA scientists were surprised at just how clearly they could hear this. Baptiste Scheid, a scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory, said, we had never heard anything like this on Mars before. These sounds are kind of like the instrument talking to us, telling us what's happening inside. Another scientist on the project, Felipe Logane, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not, I'm sorry. Well, he compared it to the crackling you hear when a cooling car engine starts settling after it's turned off. These dinks and donks are like a Martian symphony of thermal stress, he said. But it wasn't just mechanical noise. What makes this so important is that the microphone and sensors were sensitive enough to capture both the inner workings of the lander and those subtle shifts in air pressure and movement on the surface of the planet. For the first time, researchers were able to record how the Martian atmosphere behaves at very small scales. Changes in turbulence, sudden gusts, and little pressure dips that had never been observed directly before. Supercam microphone on NASA's Perseverance rover also picked up similar odd sounds like the snapping of its rock zapping laser, the mechanical clicks of instruments, and the whir of Ingenuity's helicopter blades. That data was part of a study published in Nature, which helped scientists understand how sound behaves on Mars. As Sylvester Maurice, lead author of the study, put it, at some point we thought the microphone was broken. It was so quiet. So that's how still and silent Mars can be. For the first time in history, one spacecraft on another planet recorded the sound of a completely different spacecraft in action. That happened on April 30th of 2021, when NASA's Perseverance rover captured audio of the Ingenuity helicopter flying on Mars. The SuperCam microphone on Perseverance was parked about 262 feet or about 80 meters away, so scientists weren't even sure they'd hear anything at all. You can actually hear the faint hum of Ingenuity's rotors layered over the wind. Now, the rumbling sound you're gonna hear is the wind, but that droning hum, that's the helicopter blades. To make that humming easier to hear, scientists had to isolate it. They zoomed in on the blade frequency and stripped away sounds above 90 hertz and below 80, then they boosted the remaining frequencies. It's not studio quality audio, but it's enough to hear the soft buzzing of the helicopter's blades. Now, this was actually a huge moment, not just for the novelty of hearing it, but for science. According to David Mamone, a member of the SuperCam microphone team, this is a very good surprise. We had carried out tests and simulations that told us the microphone would hardly pick up the sounds of the helicopter since the Mars atmosphere dampens sound propagation strongly, end quote. So the fact that they could hear ingenuity shows just how useful microphones could be on future missions, not only for studying machines, but also understanding how sound behaves on alien worlds. On Earth, we take sound for granted, but on Mars, it's a whole other game. NASA's InSight lander wasn't just built to snap pictures, its main job was to sit still and listen. InSight's most important tool was a seismometer placed right on the Martian surface to detect Mars quakes, and it worked. InSight detected hundreds of Mars quakes, some strong enough to give scientists detailed data about Mars's internal layers, but it also picked up other weirder signals. On March 6th of 2019, InSight's seismometer recorded this mix of signals that included wind gusts and the robotic arm snapping pictures. One NASA scientist described Describe the experience of hearing the data like this. It's like listening to the planet breathe or whisper. Another compared it to a musical instrument being plucked and pinged by 
temperature and wind. Every creak, gust, and vibration recorded by InSight helps paint a clearer picture of what it's really like on Mars. Not just its surface, but its atmosphere, its crust, and everything shifting under it. Even when the planet seems silent, InSight showed us it's always making noise. All right, so this is really cool. NASA posted a video comparing what things sound like on Earth versus what they'd sound like on Mars. And let's just say Mars sounds a lot less appealing than it does in movies. Uh, this is what a bicycle bell sounds like here at home. And here's what that same bell would sound like on Mars. So the sound is all muffled, it almost gets drowned out by that deep rumbling ambience. So what about ocean waves? Well here's what they sound like on Earth. Just lovely, isn't it? But here's what ocean waves would sound like if they existed on the red planet. Not quite as nice. It sounds like an explosive, like it's just gone off in my ear and I'm just slowly descending into hell. Just all the familiar sounds are slowly being drowned out. As cool as visiting Mars would be, I'm just really not that keen on being one of the first people to settle on it. With all that said, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Mm -hmm.